This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Rogue Amoeba, Makers of Fission, the streamlined audio editor for Mac OS X. Audio editing doesn't have to be a chore. If you need to crop or trim audio, join multiple files, or split one long file into many, Fission will get you set quickly. Plus, Fission works without the quality loss caused by other audio editors, so you can get perfect quality even when editing MP3s and AAC files. And if you need to convert audio, Fission can do that too, working with all popular audio formats. Interested? Get Fission for 20% off with coupon code MACVOICES13. Don't delay. Download the free trial from rogamoeba.com right now, then purchase online. Thanks to Rogamoeba for sponsoring this edition of Mac Voices. Mac Voices is at Macworld iWorld 2013 in San Francisco. I'm Chuck Joyner. I'm in the Bear Extender booth talking to Roland about Bear Extender. Roland, it's great to see you. Hey, thank you. Roland, I used to have one of these, but I don't think it was quite like the one you have here. Yeah, I think we've got a little upgrade from yeah. the Mac Classic that you've had, the 8 megahertz one from back in 86. Why is this here? Well, uh, this is here to help us uh, show Barrick Center Mini, our latest Wi-Fi adapter. It's a high-powered, long-range Wi-Fi adapter. Go for it, because uh, I, I, when you say long-range Wi-Fi adapter, is this reaching out and giving me more range to reach my network or a network? Any network. So you can think of it as a high-powered airport card. So maybe right now you've got a dead spot in a certain corner of your house. When you use Barrick Center, we can bring that up, increase the signal strength in that corner of your house. Great. Let's take a look at it. So, this little guy here, I'll tell you why he's, he's uh, got that smile on his face. That's because he's got better Wi-Fi. So, how many times has this happened to you? You open up your Wi-Fi icon there, and you look around for that one network you're trying to connect to, and it's got one or two bars, right? It's weak. Or maybe even worse, you look at the network list, and your network's not even on there. You're completely out of range. At this point, desperation kind of sets in, and what we like to call the Wi-Fi dance. That's where you take your laptop, where you kind of move it around, shaking, hoping that that little movement will get you the better Wi-Fi range. But uh, as we know, that doesn't often work. And as a result, you and your Mac will be sad without internet. But here at Barrick Center, we have the solution. For the last three years, we've been focusing on long-range Wi-Fi for Macs. So this is how it works. It's a little Wi-Fi adapter here. It just plugs into the back using USB. It's got a high-power one-watt radio inside and an external antenna. When, once you plug it in and install the driver, you have a new icon near your airport menu. Once you, tap, once you in, uh, turn it on, you'll see a list of networks that the Barrick Center can see. I'll blow that list up a little bit so we can see it a little clearly. Here on the left, you can see what the airport can see, and you can see it's a lot fewer networks than what Barrick Center can detect. And if you look at this particular network, Aaron here, for example, you'll see it's been increased from 21% to 57%. So we can see seven networks with airport and 13 with Barrick Center. Now, in certain situations, Barrick Center can also help increase the download upload speed of your computer. That's because when you have very low signal strength, you have, you'll have slower speeds, and when you have high signal strength, you'll have higher speeds. Here, we're running a bandwidth test using the built-in airport, which, which is connected at 40%. So it's getting 11 megabits for the download speed, and it's getting around 3.5 for the upload speed. I'll now repeat this test with Barrick Center when it's connected at a higher signal strength to the same network. Now we're connected at 90% in this test, and you can see we're getting double the amount in the download speed. Now this won't always happen, but it will happen whenever you have a very dramatic change from say 30% without Barrick Center, and then when you're boosted up to 87, 80, 90%, that's when you can kind of see this kind of speed increase. So both the download and the upload speed has been increased. And here's a little side-by-side -side showing the 11 to 20 uh, improvement in the Barrick, with the Barrick Center. So this is how it works. It's got a one watt Wi-Fi radio inside, and that paired with an upgradable external antenna lets us get the long range. The external antenna is really key because all of our Macs today are built with aluminum. It's beautiful, it's strong, but it absorbs and reflects Wi-Fi signals. So getting the antenna out of the case really improves the reception. And just the last little thing here to show, the built-in airport card is about 0.2 watts, so 200 milliwatts, a pretty standard uh, power device. Again, Barrick Center is a full one watt adapter. So that five times the increase in power is how we're able to get you the longer range. And Barrick Center has been reviewed by several of the publications. It's got a four out of five a mice rating by, by Macworld. So you no longer need to settle for this. You could be getting this, and you and your Mac can be nice and happy. Very nice presentation. I, you're up to one watt. Any health concerns here or anything of that nature? Your cell phones and iPhones actually output more power than that. The FCC limit in terms of Wi-Fi is two watts. So right, we're right in the middle at one watt. 
So it's nothing to worry about. I can use this safely under pretty much any circumstances. That's right. It's been FCC certified. And again, it's putting using less power than maybe an iPhone, your iPhone 4 with LTE, iPhone 5 with LTE. Yeah. Um, what's the pricing on the Bear Extender? It's forty nine ninety seven, and and uh, it ships. It's available now. It was introduced in September, and we ship um, directly from our website, BearExcender.com. Terrific, terrific. Thank you so much. It's great to see you, Rowan. Nice product. Thank you. Nice Mac. Thanks. Folks, we'll have more from San Francisco and Macworld iWorld 2013. I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Mac Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group at macvoicesgroup.com. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com.